All right, Briggsy. Thanks for helping me out today. Yes. How old are you, Briggsy? Ten. Ten years old. Your head's not even near the crossbar yet. You don't cover a ton of net, but you will when you grow up to be a big donkey. So anyways, today we want to talk about depth selection and where you position yourself in the crease. And when you're a small diminutive smurf like creature like you, if you make a lot of your saves back deeply in the crease or try to make them back here in the blue swimming pool, you're going to get scored on. So we want to be making saves out at the top of the crease and depending on the situation, maybe even higher. So let's do a couple drills where we work on your depth selection. We're going to have Tommy cranking some pucks on you. I'm going to start you off right here and I'll say, Shaw, you come over. Uh, first section, we're going to have you slide back deep in the crease, see how you fare. And then we're going to have you come out here a little bit higher, okay? Is that a marker in your pocket? Actually, it is, Tom. It's a marker. And when we're using the Sharpie Magnum, it's great for helping with goaltenders decide where we need to go. The first section, we're going to have him come across deeply into the crease where he's not going to cover a lot of net at his height. And then the next bunch, we're going to have him try to come out to here, regain some depth and maximize his coverage. So it's crucial with a young goalie that we make sure we maximize depth in the right situation. We might not want to be out that far if there's a guy in the back door, right? Yeah. All right. So yes, it was a Sharpie in my palm. On these first ones here, I'm going to say shot, and I want you to rotate back and go past that line like this, right? And then Tommy's going to try to score on you. So let's do eight or ten like that. Here we go. Facing me. Shot. All right. Shot. Shot. Two more. Shot. Follow that nice line there so we can demonstrate the air in your depth. Two more. Shot. Last one. Shot. All right. Better, much better depth there, Briggsy. Much better. Shot. Shot. Nice. Five more. Shot. Shot. Last one. Shot. Nice save. I really enjoyed that it was very specific, so if I had any questions, I could ask you and you would personally look at it. And a lot of the drills that we went through, I really enjoyed that they were specifically tailored towards scenarios that happen in most games that you know aren't really looked at in a regular practice, but we attacked them there at the camp. I love that you really emphasized like game speed. like. Sure, you could take one or two where you're like trying to figure out the drill, but it's just like everything's game speed because there's no point in practicing it there. And I love the OHL shooters. I just loved it. I thought that was great. I like how a lot of the drills involved precision movement, which, you know, there it's like you're working on your mechanics and the technicality of, you know, what you're doing in situations. Um, and I really enjoyed the power skating because a lot of play times goalies don't really have that time in regular practices with the team to really go hard at skating and just 
you know, have that, you know, 20, 30 minutes or even more to just, you know, go hard on the ice and work like T pushes, like slides and everything to get faster and stronger. I was definitely put on my toes the first, the first day or two and then, you know, my body acclimated a little bit and I'd like to say I'm in pretty good shape. So coming in, that was really enjoyable for me because I haven't had that happen before where I go in and it's like usually I can just kind of in there, but um, there it just really made me focus on my recovery and, you know, like my post routines to make sure my body was in top shape for it because I needed it to be. Um, so from just like meeting you on the first time, I thought you were basically just, you know, you look at the kid and you kind of, you just do what they need. Like, you know, if they need to fix something technically or like technical wise, you'll tell them there. But if it, you know, you just need them like, hey, like you're doing it fine. Just don't think about it. Then you know when to tell them to think or when not to think. So good at both aspects there. So I initially saw the e-mentor program when I was looking at the prospect camp initially, but I didn't really see much into it. And then I talked to one of the other goalies at the prospect camp about it who was in the program and he told me a lot about it and I thought it'd be a good opportunity for me um, because I haven't really been able to have a goalie coach or a mentor in the past year or two and I felt I really needed one and I kind of got into it and I really enjoy it because it helped me like further my like IQ for the game and at the same time it just you know gives me a direct line to someone who understands like what's going up up here in my head when I need it and so you know this analysis is basically you know like one every week um, you'll get like 12 13 or 14 um, game like scoring opportunities saves or puck touches that you pick from any game you want that has to be above what the level you're playing and you break it down and you break down specifically like what they did good, what they did wrong, what you liked about it and like how you could apply it to your own game or what you think that you would do instead of them in that situation. I think it's really good. I, I love it personally because like me, I live away from home at school and it's really good because it's different from me going to like a friend or a parent because you really understand like the like mental aspect from a goalie's perspective of you know whether I had a bad game or bad practice or you know schools catching up to me and it's good to go to someone that can give you advice on how to handle it who's been there. I think it's really different from you know being further away where I'm at school and then it's just talking but I do love the opportunity to come up here and just come work and I knew it was going to be hard you know from what I you know after the prospects camp but I really and very happy with like how much you're pushing me and how much you're forcing me to like get better and excel because I have to in order to you know keep up with the drills and it's making me better and I am really happy about it. It puts a lot of stress off of me because for the past couple of years most of my I guess like reaching out to coaches and figuring out my stuff has been all me just coming from a family that doesn't really know about hockey and anything like that it's been just something in the back of my head that I felt has been kind of holding me back in some places. So I think it's really comforting and nice to know that I have somebody who's there like watching out for me in that, te in that like sense of situation where they know kind of where to guide me towards there and they know how to guide people to watch me. I think it's really important because you have like, you could have an advisor that's like, oh, hey, I'm calling so-and-so coaches, but it's like, if they're no, someone that no one's heard about, like the coach isn't going to care, the GM's not going to care. But if you have somebody with, you know, that credibility, like you're saying behind their name and they reach out to a coach and they're like, hey, I got this kid I really think you should look at or like, hey, this kid's a stud, like take a look at him. I know you're looking for a goalie or it's like if you're looking at a goalie, it's a completely different situation because they're, they're like, they're like, oh, he says he's good, like we should look at him. But then they're going to put the time and the effort to get someone to go down and look at them. Yeah, it's like knowing that Steve's coached, you know, big names like Logan Thompson and Jeremy Swain, and like I, it helps me mentally because it, know, like, I know that if I follow kind of the same pathway under Steve's guidance, I can get up there too.